And it was back into a courtroom today for Elizabeth Holmes. The founder of Theranos is on trial for federal fraud charges. Conrad Amy Larson reports on the defense team's strategy. At this point in the trial, Elizabeth Holmes's defense team is playing the blame game. There are two men they are using as scapegoats for what went wrong at Elizabeth's biotech company, Theranos. Those scapegoats are Sonny Balwani and Adam Rosendorf. Sonny Balwani was COO of Theranos and Holmes's boyfriend. Rosendorf was in charge of Theranos's blood lab as lab director. Federal prosecutors charged Holmes and Balwani with fraud and conspiracy. Defense attorney Lance Wade has been cross-examining Rosendorf for four days, and he's still not done. Legal analysts said the defense is doing a good job of poking holes in Rosendorf's credibility and ethical integrity. Wade said Rosendorf was legally responsible for making sure blood tests coming out of Theranos' lab were accurate. The defense did a good job of uh, pointing out the responsibility that uh, the lab director had and the things that he failed to do such as, in their opinion, he didn't call the doctors back when they were complaining about the accuracy of the tests. Defense did a good job of uh, getting the lab director to say that he had signed off on a lot of the standard, the SOPs and the proficiency tests, which shows that he was endorsing the accuracy of these tests. When Rosendorf quit Theranos, he began leaking information to the Wall Street Journal. Earlier this week, Wall Street Journal reporter John Carew revealed for the first time that Rosendorf was his deep throat the blood lab is at the heart of why Holmes is facing possible prison time. Prosecutors say Holmes knew her mini blood analyzing machines were not working, but continued to claim to the world that her revolutionary technology worked. The defense team is also going to try to pin the blame on Balwani. Court documents show they are alleging Balwani controlled, manipulated, and abused Holmes. Sonny Balwani is being put on trial separately next year. But for this trial, will he take the stand and testify against his former girlfriend? Probably not, uh, because he's charged separately, and he can always claim Fifth Amendment uh, if he was to have to take the witness stand. But they can't, they can't make him take the witness stand in this case. I'm Amy Larson, reporting for Cron 4 News in San Jose.